some very good football. It, it's been a very, very balanced uh, game, but I'll say that Rensis, uh, I will give them uh, the better team in this particular because of the way they've created the chances, the quality of chances they've created. The decision making in the final third has been something that I've been poor in that, but yeah. so far for me, the best player on the pitch has to be the chap in the number nine shirt, the captain of Rensis. Blessing has been a solid, solid, you know, uh, uh, a player in this particular game. And most of the chances that have been created have come from him. Moments ago, he nearly got the opener, but his shot went past the the goal, the, the post. And then again, you look at the goalkeeper for uh, Rensis. He's been very, very solid. Yeah. Uh, Patrick Sam, on two occasions, he has to clear the danger for his team. But so far, I must say that it's it's been an equally a, a fairly balanced game but then we are hoping to see some goals in the second half of this final. It's been end-to-end -end action in the first 45 and of course blessing Brafo again trying to get a, a header on target. They've also had other players coming in to support. Richard Jones Mensa uh, is uh, one of them. On that occasion missed completely but on this occasion Luis, only, the only thing he had to do was to take his time. Blasted wide. And again, trying to uh, catch Sam on the uh, break. Nagod came in strongly again, this time from the left as they ditched in the cross. Luis went down before he could uh, get a connection to it. Fairly cleared by Jesse Noy as well. But again, another of those lovely searching runs, this time from the youngster Usu Brefo. And on that occasion, Luis Anand was caught in the offside uh, trap. So the pendulum has swung from one end of the field to another. The teams will have to open up and get a goal. At halftime, it's Nagod FC nil, Rensis FC nil. Do join us and stay with us for the second half. He had to take the ingenuity of one man, Jesse Noy, to separate the men from the boys. Nagot started the second half in earnest and they created lots of uh, chances firing at will at the goalkeeper. And those were one, those, that's one of their kicks sent in by Jesse Noy. Nothing came out of that. Nagot also created a lot more opportunity as they came forward and even brought on some fresh lips to join the attack. Corner kick was swung in nicely but it missed by a few inches, Anand couldn't get to the ball early enough. But again, more opportunities came their way. That shot was ably blocked by Patrick Sam. And then good tackle coming in, preventing Blessing Bra uh, Brafo from getting to the ball. But Nagod, what chances they created. Came up with different ideas, popped up in the 18-yard box like nobody's business. But all to no avail for instance right from the blast of the referee's whistle every move was a potential winner and on that occasion that's how close Nagod came to getting a goal unfortunately nothing came out of that effort by Patrick Appiah so after that challenge after that chance Rensis figured that well let's get ready for the penalty shootout. Wise laid on the pass. It was crossed in by Ebenezer. Connection from uh, Blessing was not the best. He took a slip on that occasion. What fighting spirit, Rensis. Came close on that occasion, but again, bodies got in the way. Until this free kick, which was nodded in nicely by Jesse Noy, and Mark at the far end had the easiest of headers into the net yawning net for the only goal of the game Jesse Noy sends Rensis into Division 1 and look at the fans go oh there's a lot of excitement here at the stadium and I'm sure it's going to continue all the way to Tema the home base of Rensis. Worthy champions.